guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make three crafts with your ferrets. So I may do a second version of this video. If you'd like to see that, comment down below. This is Melvin and he is very excited to start this. And this is Lily, who is also very excited for once. Now uh, these crafts are pretty cool. Only one of them are actually for your ferrets. Most of them are just for you to love and have fun with. This is also very good for bonding, I think. Just because then you're spending more time with them. So the first one is I'm going to get a candy box. I'm using Nerds. I noticed that you can use Smarties too. And then you're just going to open it up all the way so it's flat. And then you're going to grab your glue. And then put it on two little sides and then fold it up so then you have this so it's nicely folded up like that and then you're gonna go let that dry so this is to make a really cool cute box um you can paint yours i don't think this will work painted i uh i mean i don't think this will work with a marker but i think this will work painted so i will try that you can also put colored paper on top of it at the beginning and cut little slits. Um, so that is the first craft. So we're just gonna let that sit. Can you do it, I guess? No, you're sitting. You're falling asleep. Okay, so then the second craft we're gonna do, I made a whole video on this one because it's a half an hour long process. So painting with your ferret. So this is a really fun one, I gotta say. So. What we did was we got a white piece of paper and put a whole bunch of paints out and they booped, so they hit it with your nose, four paints that they wanted to choose from, or three depending on which. And then I just spread it around on a piece of paper. I put that in a Ziploc bag and then they'd step on the Ziploc bag. And I got some pretty cute art. So this one is from Melvin. So he likes stamping. And you'll notice that from the other painting too. He likes stamping it more less than actually like painting well it is still painting but lily likes to drag her art so she's it looks a little different i framed this one because i thought it looked super cute what i did for this one is i put tape down before i put on the paint and then it looked out like that and then with the tape i put it on this piece of paper and it looks super cool so what i'm going to do is try to get this off of the piece of paper and that came off really easily. So then we have this cute little L, and it's sort of see-through in the blue spots right here, which I think is super cool. And it doesn't even feel like there's tape on this. It just, it's pretty cool. And then from the dollar store, I bought this set, and it looks super cool. Um, so all I'm going to do is open it. And I don't need the paint, but I'm going to get this little heart ornament. It's, it doesn't look as white as it is on camera. So what I'm gonna do is just paint it white. So all you need is some white paint. I'm using this paint. They just call it shiny white. It does not have glitter in it, but it still looks pretty cool. Looks just like a normal white. And this will get some fair hair on it, so you can do it in a different room if you'd like to. So I just put on some paint and now I'm just gonna spread that around. And then once this dries, I'm actually gonna put the L on top of it. I think it'll look super cool. Try not to get too many lines in it. I only put a tiny bit of paint just so then I can mix it around without seeing many lines. Um, just cause I want it to look flat. You guys may not want to do that. But don't use too much of it just cause these paints are really expensive. They are not the dollar store paints. They're the good stuff for painting on rocks. Because I do that a lot. So don't waste any paint. If it looks like a lot, it's probably not that much. So don't use too much, is what I'm trying to say. Don't cover up the whole heart with layers before you're even started. Because that just won't look good in the end. And you just wasted paint. So then in the end, I'm going to paint the sides. You don't need to do the back. If you'd like to, you can, but that's up to you. I'm 
not going to eat like two, that's fine. And then what I'm thinking of doing this for is making it a Christmas ornament. And the nice thing about this one is that they have this all year round, surprisingly. It's not only around during winter. So that's what I like about that one. And now moving on to the next project, which is a dig box. Dig boxes are super fun to make. You can use it with coconut fiber. You can use it with newspaper, which is my favorite thing, like shredded up paper. You can also use the stuff that they have during Easter time. Don't use the plastic stuff just because it doesn't break down if they do eat it versus this stuff. Super cheap and try to get the most, the least processed out of everything, which I thought newspaper is totally the least. And then just shred it all up. There's a lot in here. And then just toss it around like what I'm doing. Just lift it up and toss it out because Otherwise, it won't be as fun. This is just a normal Amazon box. I taped up the flaps just so they don't chew on the flaps. And then they have less fun trying to escape. My ferrets don't really like dig boxes, but this is pretty much what it looks like. And just shake it around. You can throw in some of their toys. It would work really good with sand. Just don't use play sand. Use the least processed stuff you can find. Watch the Friendly Neighborhood Ferret video on on dig boxes, it's really good. And it'll tell you all the small details like that. You can also throw in some ping pong balls. That's my ferret's favorite toys. Um, I just noticed that she also said that it's their favorite, favorite ferret's toys. But I just find ping pong balls are awesome because they make a funny sound and they're not too heavy for ferrets on my golf balls. So then when we come back to this, our little nerd's box is done. So then how to use it is you fold up the tiny sides when it's flat and then put it up and then that. And then it's a perfect little box and it opens up like that. And then you can fold it back up. And I think this is super cute. So it was super easy. And what I'm gonna do, I don't know about you guys, is put some fish oil on because our ferrets like to go on road trips to different places so i've been using this but this holds like a hundred pills so i like using the pills just because things don't smell as bad but i could fit probably around three of these into this little box oh maybe even more i can fit a lot of these into this box which is what i like about them so then i can fit around four of them into here lined up nicely and then close up my little box you can put a bit of tape around it if that's what you like, then it will open up. But this, I'd say, is pretty cute and fun. And my ferrets, I think, are going to use that a lot when they go on their road trips. And another thing I was thinking of is on the one side, you can add a little piece of pipe cleaner. What are you doing? Um, and then it looks like a little suitcase, and it looks like they've carried it away. Anyways, then we can look at my dig box. I just filled it up halfway. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to give each of these a rating. I give this one an 8 out of 10 just because my ferrets don't like dig boxes, but if yours does, this would work awesome. It also has a lot of chewing hazards. Luckily, this can um, decompose pretty much down inside of them. There is a lot of hazards just with different things to put in the dig box. This I knew is good because all the pet stores have this as the litter. Don't do anything the pet stores does, but I just thought this would work good. And I'd say for the paintings, I'd give this a 10 out of 10. It took a long time, which was nice for me. I like things that take a long amount of time. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything bad about these to say. I think they look super cool. I like putting mine in frames and then putting it on top of their cage, way up there. And I think it looks so cool. And then Lily was just looking at this. I was holding her, just admiring her piece of art that she has made. And I think it's really cool. I like to say that there's a ferret louvre, which is where theirs goes. And they hang up all their little paintings or stand them up. And then it's like this whole thing where just all of their stuff is there. And they also do other sort of art projects, I like to say. Um, like we put ink on their feet and then do that. Uh, that'll probably be a whole other video. 
video. So I really like doing this. Um, for the heart project, I'd say this was really good. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Really no reason I didn't like it. It's just I don't want people putting their ferrets near Christmas trees because there's so many things wrong with that. Them getting tangled in it, them breaking this, and then eating some of the glass. Them also choking on the ornaments if they're little ones. They can really get to a lot of hazards. So try to keep your ferrets away from Christmas trees unless if they are on a harness or a leash. So hopefully you like that video. Lily, say goodbye. And we'll see you next time.